and welcome! In today's video, I will be explaining the Bucket tool in Ibis Paint X, which is one of the features on the toolbar. The bucket can be found on the left panel on tablets and under this button on cellular devices. As you've seen in the title of my video, you've been using the Bucket tool wrong, probably your whole life. I know I have. Let me first explain how to use the Bucket tool before I explain to you how you've been using it wrong. Basically, the Bucket tool is great for filling in a shape without having to manually color it all in. Here's my fun little doodle for an example. Manually coloring it in can be tedious and is more prone to errors. As long as you have a fully enclosed shape, simply use the bucket tool and with one tap, the entire area will be colored. If there are any holes in the shape, the color will spill over. I tried to color in that boba, but since there was a hole, it didn't work properly. Gap recognition can help with this though. Toggle on gap recognition and it will try to catch any gaps in the line art. You can also switch to eraser and erase full sections all at once. Here's what you've probably been doing wrong. It's not necessarily wrong, but it certainly isn't using this tool to its full extent. The problem you've probably been facing is if you drop a color into an area, it won't fill in the correct area the way you wanted. I'm sure you've noticed that it takes other things into account, like this little sparkle I have in a layer above the line art. We want this entire container to be colored pink, but the sparkle is cutting it off. Luckily, there's a super easy way we can outmaneuver this. Simply go to settings and under reference layer, select specific layer. Whatever layer we select will be what our bucket is based off of. So choose your line art layer. Now, when we use our bucket, it will only reference that layer that we selected and completely ignore any other layers. So it ignored the sparkle. Personally, I only discovered this very recently, so I am super excited. I used to have to spend a lot of time coloring this all in by hand or using the bucket and then having to go in and fix all the mistakes that were made by the bucket. So I'm super, super excited to figure this out. Let me know in the comments below if you knew about that trick or not. I have more tutorials on all the other features of Ibis Paint X linked at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.